Hello guys, how's it all going? Hope you're all keeping well. Long time no see, by the way. Haven't really been into this YouTube here in a long while, to be honest with you. So, just been busy with family stuff there since the way before Christmas and just haven't really had a chance. I've seen a couple of wee videos and stuff up there, but there's nothing ever really great, you know. And I have nothing really planned except until today that uh, a guy contacted me uh, through Facebook and it just got me thinking. Like I say, it's been a long time. Hopefully I can't wait for the flipping summer days to start here. See this nonsense at the minute here with the rain and the wind and the storms and the snow and the slush and the rain and the wind and the snow and the dark mornings and the dark evening. It's doing my head in. I was on my way home from work today and I had the I had the iFlight, the DC5 with me. I stopped up the hill. The sun was out. It was sort of nice and it wasn't bad. It was cold. It was like two or three degrees. Still cold, but the wind wasn't bad. So here me happy days. Going to get a fly. Yo. Got the party on, got the goggles on, got it all set up, blah, 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 blah. Started the props, flew off, took a wee fly up, flying up over the hill. And just as it was flying up the hill, the next thing, boom, flipping, sn started snowing. <laughs> Big dark, dark cloud just blew in a few hundred feet above me and just blew in. And the next thing, the snow started. So, back, land, pack it all up, and home again. Anyway guys, listen, a wee quick video today, I'll try and keep it as short as I can, but this is going to be from a guy who contacted me on Facebook, feller, fell, a feller, a feller, a fella, called Mark Cooper, <coughs> contacted me on Facebook and he was wanting to know, started the other day, he was asking about his area and he, he, all of a sudden it stopped recording sound, so first of all, DJI air units don't record sound whenever you're recording in 720, uh, at 120 fps the only record sound whenever you're recording or you're recording at 1080 at 60 fps so it's okay no problems there he was happy enough and then the next thing you know, i got a message from him today asked me by any chance did i know where the microphone is in the area because as we all know the microphone and these things here they're crap i done a video away last year and i was shooting down to the thing and uh just for you guys so you can hear me so the sound out of them is terrible you know so what i want to do we're going to do a quick tear down this is the area as you see i have no camera on that was another video that i started the other week and it didn't happen because the lens wouldn't focus <laughs> i bought a whole pile of lenses from china one of them came and i was got it all ready uh in the wee camera doing a video on how to change the lens and uh trying the new lens in put it in put the goggles on it to try and focus it screwed it in as far as I could and it wouldn't get focus. It was nearly there, but it just wouldn't focus. It was hitting the backstop uh, and just wouldn't go any further. Another half a mil might have got the focus. But anyway, that's another video. I'm waiting for another lens to come. Uh, so guys, listen, I'm going to get the camera down towards the bench here and the DJI air unit, the actual module itself. I'm going to open it up, have a wee quick look inside, uh, and we're going to try and see if we can locate the microphone. <laughs> I don't think it's in the camera. There's the camera there. You probably won't see it very good, not focused because I'm manual focus, but I don't think the microphone is in this. I don't think so. Uh, so we're going to tear apart the DJI air unit and we're going to get a wee look inside and see what's in it. Yo ho! <laughs> Hello, and we're back, guys. So here we go. Uh, this is the DJI area, as you all well know, and I know a few guys have decased them. I did have a quick look on the internet earlier on, typed in decase DJI area, open DJI area, open FPV DJI system area, blah blah blah. I tried all different combinations and stuff and couldn't find anything. I know in the Facebook groups there was a couple of guys who did open them up and posted a few photos and stuff but I'd never actually, I went into the DJI groups and looked and I was scrolling for ages and couldn't find any photos. Okay so basically I'm just going to get this, open it up as quick as I can and we'll have a wee quick look inside. So let's see, we'll start by taking out this screw here, put it to the side, what does that do? Doesn't do very much just yet. There's a wee screw in the back here, every time I've seen that before uh, as you can see the stuff side of it, but the first time I seen that I thought it was an, L an LED. On the side you've got the USB-C port. Uh, on the other side here you have the bend button, the bend button in there. And I was thinking the microphone might be close to near here. And then this side is the LED status indicator. 
there in the corner and then the, obviously the card slot so we'll take the wee screw out at the back never opened one of these before can't imagine it'll be too hard to open it up to be honest with you I know that to make the, the cable here is uh, replaceable uh, that's another thing this is a spare air unit I bought I had a wee bit of cash one stage there last year and I'm feeling a bit flush and I had a discount code as well so I bought myself an air unit just to have and I've got the camera and stuff here spare I've already pulled it apart and put a different lens into it but I need to I've got another lens I actually I was saying earlier on the video there that about waiting for more lenses and actually lens didn't come I'm going to try this lens guys in it this is the uh, this is a a 3 megapixel, well it's just to do with the clarity of the glass but it's a 1.8mm wide lens still not nowhere near as short as a DJI lens but as you can see this is probably one of the shortest that I have got so far compared to any of the rest of them by the time you screw that in it should be a bit shorter uh, than anything else I've tried so far so uh, yeah we'll, we'll try that and we'll maybe try and get a video up like I say I was in the middle of making a video anyway and uh, the next thing was the lens wouldn't focus, it was the B1.7mm which I have about here somewhere too. There's the stock DJI lens and there's the 1.7 there that I was trying and look it's almost identical size too. Just wouldn't focus a wee bugger so anyway so it's no good. Right so we've taken out one screw, two screws, three screws, we'll take out the fourth screw now see what we can get access to in here so the wee cover comes off easy enough that gives you access to the cable in there the cable shouldn't be too hard to pop off if I can find a screwdriver or something somewhere it should pop up easy enough Ta -da! there's the cable off so we've got the cable off and now the whole thing seems like it's coming apart, it's opening up. Oh, right, so it's opening up guys, but we have a ribbon cable, the board attaching the top to the bottom. And what way will this come off? Hopefully in here guys, maybe a wee bit hard to see, the ribbon cable goes down and attaches to the uh, pop on connector there oh not too bad and there we go there is the two parts of the air unit separated yay right guys so in here along the top so far I can see the LED in here next to it we have the bind button with the HDMI connector to the camera <coughs> On the other side we have the USB uh, C connector. There's a small piece of foam there. Aha, aha, is that the is that the microphone in there? Down in there. There's a bit of foam over it. I don't wanna actually I don't think there's anything in there. Uh oh. Uh, what does that hold on? Right, okay, so I can't actually see what that holds, guys. But I can't see a microphone yet, still can't see a microphone. In this side here, we have what appears to be a bit of glass. Uh, I can't understand what the bit of glass is for. There's a piece of glass in the corner. Why it has glass, I do not know. But guys, I can't see any sign of a microphone in there. I can't see anything at all. Unless it's on the other side of the board, but... No... I'm What's in this side? I can't see anything in this side either. It can't be in the camera, can it? See, there's the camera. And 
I've got the connector, I've got all the chips, SMD components. That's just a connector. Where is the microphone in this? Theaters in there and then you've got the actual back of the sensor PCB in there which is mounted directly on top of the front uh, cover. You can't remove it but it looks like it's glued down so you can't remove the sensor. There's no microphone in there. And there's no microphone in the back in there. Guys, I don't know. Right. I will take these out. Right. Guys, I don't know what's a strange one on me now, to be honest with you. Why I'm not seeing any microphone in here. That just comes off. Look, there's the back of the board with a heatsink compound on it. Still no sign of a microphone. We small attenuators going to the antennas there. Right on the board there we can see them. Guys, I don't know unless the microphone is in below some of that protective uh, stuff there. I'll come off. Oh that would come off. I'm finding that very strange. I'm going to have to remount this again because I don't want to lose any. Right guys, that is a teardown of the DJI Air unit. And I do not see any microphone in there at all. That is a strange one on me. Right, so the only thing I can do now is take apart the board or unscrew the board on the other side to see if I can see this where the microphone is because I had a plan, I was actually going to try and drill a wee hole near where the microphone is to try and allow a bit more sound in but so far I can't find it so if any of you guys have ever had this apart or know where the microphone is let me know well I can't see a microphone guys I'll have a look in here can't be anywhere else. Oh, with a blue heat sink compound in there again. There we go. So it's the back of it. Guys, I cannot find a microphone in here. Unless it's mounted in below that somewhere on the board. <gasps> aha! 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 There, da da. <laughs> I think, I think, guys, see on the side of the the uh, metal cover there. It's hard to see, and there's no way for me to remove this cover. But there's the USB connection, and imagine on the side of the USB connector on the side there, whatever way it goes, on the side, on the in below that heat sink, or on oh, heat sink, in below uh, this RF uh, shield here, just on the board in there, it's very, very hard to see. There's a wee small hole, and in that wee small hole, I think, is where the microphone is. I can see something there which looks round and it looks like the edge of the microphone. Now, obviously, it's hard to tell, but why else would you have a small hole on the side there close to the USB connection which is also a hole on the side of the air unit uh, housing for that that would make sense that's where it would let the sound in then obviously so guys uh, well there's another one over here near the bind button so guys the only thing I can think of is that the microphone is located in there and that's why the sounds so crap and the only way I can get the sound in is through uh, 
near the, the uh, SD card slot and the bind button holes and then again over on the USB hole on the actual outer casing and that would be the only way sound could get in so it gets in through the hole here and in through the hole there so guys as far as I can see there's no actual uh, microphone on the board that you can see it's on the PCB it's mounted on the PCB and there's not much you can do about it you know it's just it's mounted in there and it's covered and there's no actual way in unless you were good with SMD components and you were able to remove this to get inside but that's not something that I'm going to tackle right so guys as far as I can see a tear down of the air unit so far shows that the microphone's located inside this and there is no way to really access the microphone you know so if you're mounting uh, your air unit and you want the best sound possible try and keep the sides clear where the USB connector is and on the other side where your SD card slot is I know a lot of people like to uh, cover them up every bungs put wee bungs on the USB connection and on the SD card slot I'll put a wee bit of tape over it you know so that obviously doesn't help that obviously blocks off uh, some of the sound as well that's about the height of it guys that's all I can see not much more to it than that except for put it back together again Hey guys, please note, uh, <laughs> getting the wee, uh, cable back in the place there, it's uh, not too, well, it's a bit tricky, you can do it, but it's just a bit fiddly, you know, especially whenever you're like me and you get friggin' sausage fingers, you know, probably not the wee area that comes apart not too bad, it's not too bad to work on, you know, right. Okay guys, another thing and you know yourselves too, if you're doing this here, you're going to void all warranty. You know, so it's up to you if you want to open your area and it's up or not. You know, Jesus Christ. Like I say, not that I'm flush or made of money or anything like that, but I bought this one that was a reduced one I got. But it wasn't reduced, like, like used reduced or anything, it was on off. But there was a special offer on DJI's website, plus I had some money off the site as well from what I had built up on DJI account from other purchases. So I bought this at the time and I bought the foam and I was going to put this into another build. I was going to build a, an all weather quad. I've just been so busy in the dirt. I've just been so busy over summer or winter. I've just been so busy over winter with family stuff. You know, uh, it was way before Christmas and holiday. Before that, we were all sick. Uh, then we had Christmas, it was busy. Then New Year, then to work. And now we're at the end of February and we've had birthdays. And guys, it has not stopped. I just haven't stopped. See, doing stuff for the kids and doing stuff for the family, going here and going there. You know. Right, guys, there you go. Well, that was it. That was the teardown of the DJI area. And uh, although there's not a lot to see in there, uh, it's surprising sort of how much stuff DJ can pack into such a small little thing you know HD transmission has sort of been the breakthrough of FPV uh, this past long time you know and I have to say it is amazing and if you've never flown DJI uh, HD, and I'm, I'm not bumming and blowing DJI I know I'm wearing their t-shirt but this is given to me by iFlight this is a this is an iFlight t-shirt by the way you know, but guys, to think how far it has come from the analog systems that we all used to use. I remember years and years ago, I was using big flipping metal FPV cameras with Boss Cam, uh, 32 channel, or it wasn't even 42, 30 some channel FPV transmitters, and they were. But this is on my bigger drones. I have only got in the FPV this past while back, but whenever I first started, but you know, getting your analog video down even. The DJI producing something like this. Now I know it's been done before with Connex and stuff like that. But 
and I know the area is heavy, you know, it's more for freestyle, you know, uh, people have decased them and stuff, but to think that you're getting HD coming down, and unless you've seen it with your own eyes and a pair of goggles, you just don't believe it, you know, you, you, you will not believe it, you know, until you actually see it, you don't believe it, you know. <laughs> but guys, we've come a long way, and there's the Vista, the Vista's out now, it's smaller and lighter than this as well, you know, and it's just, this records HD DVR, whereas the Vista doesn't, you know, but to have such, all this stuff crammed into such a small thing, and like you're talking 30 milliseconds delay, you know, that's like, you can't even blink your eye that fast, do you know what I mean? Uh, but, it was one of the things whenever it first came out I had to jump on it, I couldn't, we, I waited and waited, I did try and wait and tried to say no, it's not for me, because I'm not a DJI fanboy, I'm not, I never used to be at all, it was always build your own, fly your own, build your own, then I was into Unique for a while, and uh, Autel, I've still got my Autel Evo, I love the Autel Evo, I have the Inspire 2, but I'm selling it now, I'm actually in the middle of the process of trying to sell it, I think I'm looking too much, but I want to try and sell it, and uh, I'm getting out of the video and game, so I'm not doing it, not renewing my PFCO, I haven't renewed it, I'm waiting for all the new legislation to come out in June, to see what's going to happen. But anyway guys, that was a look inside the DJI area. As you can see, uh, there wasn't a lot to see. I couldn't actually pinpoint and locate the microphone. There's a microphone in here somewhere. Uh, I think it's in below the, the main board, not the RF board, but in below the main board, in below a tin uh, RF shield that goes over all the components. You can see the e air holes on either side. And I'm assuming because where the air holes are located close to the SD card slot, and uh, the USB connector on either side, I'm thinking that's where it allows the sound in to reach the microphone. So sound can enter the area anywhere, and if it can get in, it'll get in, you know. So that's, as far as I can see, that's where the microphone is, guys. So, you know, so if you're mounting this in a wing or mounting it in something, try your best, if you're looking for sound, try your best not to cover up the SD card slot or cover up the USB port on the side. Right guys, that'll do it for me for now. Like I say, I was in the process of doing other videos to do with uh, changing the lenses and stuff. And the lens, I was more or less the whole way through the video. It got to the end and I was trying to set the focus and it didn't work. So that video is not up yet until I do it again. And I did introduce you to my little dog as well. Because we'll have a, we've got a dog in the family, yo! <laughs> Hang on. <gasps> what am I doing? What am I doing? Everybody, who's this? Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Hey Toffee here. Say hello. Say hello. This is Toffee everybody. This is Toffee. This is the new dog. This is the new family pet. That's another thing we've got. So I've got three children now. Plus a wee dog. My own dog Buster, who we still have, but he doesn't live with us no more. He lives with her mum and dad. Long story. But uh, the wife has been asking me for about a year now. And she wanted... What did she want? She wanted a pug. Didn't want a pug. She wanted something else, didn't want it. She wanted all these different chihuahuas and stuff. And then she sent me this here about Christmas time, just after Christmas. She sent me a picture of this little one, wee pup. And uh, I said, what about this one? And instantly loved her. So she's a cross between a Jack Russell, apparently. But we think there's more of a terrier in her, like a wire-haired terrier. And a chihuahua, actually. If you look at her, she's good. whenever she's wet, you see it in her. But this is Toffee, spelled T-O-F-F-Y. Toffee, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> she's a lovely wee thing, aren't you? She's like the, she likes to bite. Well, she's not doing it now. But she nips and she bites, but she's still a pup. What are you, six months old now? So I've had her since the start of January, after Christmas, haven't we? And you like it at your own house? You like it here? So another few months in, we're going to send and get her. She's to go and see the vet and get the snip. Obviously not the snip like me and get, but she's to get herself sorted, neutered or whatever you call it. And then she's got them wee, what do you call them wee claws on there. She's to get them removed as well. But we're going to keep her tail. Aren't we? We'll keep her tail. We'll let you keep her tail. <laughs> but guys, anyway, I thought you'd introduce you to the, the man. And she's crazy. You want to see her bouncing around the house. But the kids love her and I love her and everybody loves her. And she's a good pup. I don't like. She's a good pup, aren't you? 
think you need a bath. Huh? Right. Okay. So guys, there you go. That's Toffee. That's a wee dog Toffee anyway. So I thought I'd just uh, introduce you. Tell her quick. Right guys, look, I'm off here now. Uh, I think I'm heading into the house to go and watch some movie with the wife here now. Then hopefully try and get for a wee walk. Try and share the, that Christmas. We I bring this in Christmas. Whew, I haven't been able to shift that in a long time. <laughs> right guys, look, I'm away on here. Listen, take care. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I say, just a wee quick tear down video of the DJI Air unit. Nothing special. But somebody asked me the question, where is the microphone? We looked for a microphone. Can't actually pinpoint it, but I have a funny feeling that it's in below the tin RF shield on the main PCB. And the sound enters in through the SD card slot and enters in through the USB port and that's where the sound gets into the air unit. Can't see nothing in the camera and I can't see there being a microphone in there anyway. Uh, considering the Vista has no sound, uh, so it would lead me to think that it's in the air unit, definitely in there where I think it is. So I don't know for sure, I didn't actually see it, but I'm presuming that's where it is. Right guys, thanks for watching, take care, all the best. Look after yourselves and hopefully now the better weather is going to be coming soon. Hopefully we'll get to be doing a few more videos. I might have another wee surprise coming up uh, in the next couple of months. I'm not too sure what's going on with it yet. I'm just waiting to see what's happening. And one of my friends have been has been trying to get me into BB gun. Remember the guns that used to be up here? I still have one up there. But I've ordered parts from the BB guns to get them fixed because I broke them. So I uh, so, uh, maybe going to get into that in the summer as well. And I've been speaking to a guy about flying FPV at his BB, his airsoft site. So uh, we'll see if we can get a wee bit of footage at the airsoft as well. Hopefully the better weather will bring better things. Right guys, thanks for watching. I'm away now. Definitely away now. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.